So keep in mind that we're in the process of finding the derivatives in this problem. And in this particular instance, we have f of x equal to 2x minus x to the power of 1 half, all raised to the power of negative 2. So this one, again, needs a chain rule. And so the derivative, which is labeled as f prime of x, basically says bring the negative 2 down to the front and then subtract 1 from that exponent. So it used to be negative 2, and I'm going to take away 1 from it. So by the way, negative 2, take away not 1, you end up with negative 3 eventually. Once you finish, you're going to take the inside part and find its derivative and write it next. The derivative of 2x is going to be 2, and the derivative of x to the 1 half is going to be negative 1 half x to the power of 1 half minus 1, which is negative 1 half. And that pretty much is it. And keep in mind that we're multiplying everything, so parentheses and products are required. You can leave it like this, or you can try to rewrite it and make it look better. I'm actually going to leave it. I'm not going to worry about doing anything else with it. So that's because I'm not doing anything else with the problem later on. So why bother simplifying it and making mistakes? And finally, the last problem has the function f of x. In this case, the function f of x is written as a radical. And that's not super convenient. So we're going to rewrite the original f of x without the radical so that we can see what the power is. In order to do that, we'll just have to remember that on the inside, there's a power 1. And on the index, there's a 3. So we can rewrite the problem as the base raised to the power of 1 third. So at this point, the derivative is going to be the same as before. Bring the 1 third down to the front put the 3x cubed minus 2x afterwards, take 1 away from the 1 third, and it becomes negative 2 thirds. Then multiply by the derivative of all of these things. The derivative of them is going to be next, so it's going to be 9x to the power of 2 minus 2. Keep in mind that some people end up multiplying the 1 third with the 3 and the 1 third with the 2. That's not right because of the PEMDAS rules. PEMDAS basically says if you have an exponent, you're supposed to do the exponent first before you perform the product. So watch out not to make that mistake. Since we cannot raise the thing to the power of negative two, th two thirds, we cannot multiply the one third either. So this is how the question is going to end, just like that, and just put a little box around it and you're basically finished.